Hi everyone, so what I thought was that I would uh, do a gear review of everything I'm carrying with me so that you guys can see exactly how much I'm carrying and what it takes to make this happen. So this is pretty much everything here. See my trailer there, bike here. I'm not going to go over my bike in too much detail. I'm going to do a thorough review of the bike when I'm done the trip. But there's some more stuff over on the desk, tablets, helmet some junk food for energy during the day then on the bed I've got all the gear there I'm gonna go through each thing tarp some water over there so yeah what I'm gonna do is kinda of go through each thing here so first of all we do have all the GoPro stuff GoPro case um, So we've got two chargers right here, right here, chargers, batteries, battery, one battery in the GoPro. Truth is I could use probably about four or five more batteries, but they're like 25 bucks each, which isn't crazy, but it all adds up. So here we have the GoPro, GoPro Hero 7, charging cables, two Bontrager lights, front, rear, a NOG light that uh, I haven't used yet and I might send back if I send some stuff back home so and then in the top part of the GoPro case I have a bunch more chargers kinda everything I would need like clamps everything in there just accessories so um, that's kind of it the small tripod for doing shots with the GoPro um, yeah I could use like I said, four or five more batteries, and in, in truth, I could use another GoPro as well. I was looking at just getting a GoPro Hero 7 Silver before I left, but I kind of ran out of money for that kind of thing. So swinging around to this side, we've got all the camera gear. So that's the case. Down here we have my tele the lens for zoom zoom lens. Sorry. Um, behind that right here is a intervalometer that's called so that's so if you want to take shots where you uh, want to do it remotely or if you want need to keep the shutter open to do like night photography fortunately I've tried doing some night photography but I don't have the right lens for it so that's that um, there's the tripod right there the two batteries Canon battery and charger then the aftermarket batteries I bought, one here and one in the camera as well. And then, like I said, that's the case for it. And then I'll show you real quickly in the mirror. That's the Canon camera right there. So, can't really see it, but you guys know what a Canon camera looks like. All right, and then above the GoPro stuff, is the Goal Zero solar panels I have, which, as you know, or will find out or already know, the power bank that I use that solar panel to charge to fill it is gone. Someone stole it last night, so um, that's where I'm at with that. I'm hoping to do something about that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a new one. So down here we have my laptop, mouse, charger and its case underneath. The green bag is food bag, where I keep all my food, the dry bags. The second dry bag is my tent. Um, in this black case right here is my frame bag that goes on under my top tube. One side I keep all my bike tools, on the other side I have just miscellaneous personal items that I might need during the day. Beside that is my cooking stuff, so you've got my set of pots and pans and small frying pan, my jet boil stove, gas stove, which is probably one of my most important pieces of equipment, the uh, French press, and two bottles of fuel, which actually last quite a long time. Beside, the, and my little axe for when I need to make fire, my little saw, sorry, it's kind of crap to be honest with you. Then here we've got my North Face sleeping bag. Thermarest air mattress and then my mountain equipment co-op inflatable pillow 
in the black bag beside it is my dry bag for all my clothes and all my clothes go in there um, not a lot of clothes on the trip I honestly wish I had less but I do need what I have so above those I have my bear spray or human spray if you decide to steal my bike and then I also have my water purifier which works pretty darn good and um, over on the table here we have my two tablets which are very important for navigating pretty much um, my helmet my dry bags one there I got one over in the front hallway there and then my bike of course so the Trek 1120 with the Burley Coho XC and that's kinda basically the gear review um, not much more to say about it if anybody has any questions about it feel free to ask and um, I should be able to give you an answer so that's the gear review um, oh yeah my Solomon hiking boots too which actually take up quite a bit of room so they need to be mentioned so <coughs> excuse me so that's the gear review guys I will talk to you later bye